Hello everybody! I'm new with those kinds of reviews, but I think I should show something I've kept for a long time. And that's a Compact Presario 5000 series Brazilian version. This machine was bought in May 12, 2001, here in Brazil. And I can tell you that might be the happiest day of my late childhood. I was urging to have a computer since 1999, but as we know, those things were really expensive back then. The only thing I really knew was it had to be a compact presario, nothing else. And those machines were made to last. I still have mine and it's turning 20 years today exactly. It may have some flaws and might not be 100% original, but the whole structure is here. Let's have a look. First of all, I've had some cleaning to do. Disassemble, scrubbing. Took some courage to remove every key from the keyboard and wash them with water and soap. I don't intend to retrobrite it because I think it's a really dangerous process and it surely will turn yellow again sometime. I'd rather keep this natural yellow fade that shows this machine is with me since 2001 and was really used. It's a Compact Presario 5000 LA. LA stands for Latin America. It's an Intel Celeron with 766 MHz with 128 KB of cache. It came originally with 64 MB of RAM memory and 11 MB of this were shared with video. It has a 20 GB hard disk, also had a 48x CD-ROM drive, a 56K modem and some softwares. Windows Millennium Edition is still the operational system. On the back it has two PS2 ports, for mouse and keyboard, two USB connections, as well as two in front, serial ports, printer, VGA, joystick and sound. Everything is on board in this machine. It's not the ideal if you want to make upgrades, but that's what I had available to buy at the moment. So, I've got a 250 watt power supply, yet original, with the codes, the processor with its fan and heatsink, and the chipset is an Intel i810, the coin battery, I don't remember the last time I changed it, I think it was 2008, and I still have two expansion boards here, as you can see. Uh, LG fax modem and, believe it or not, a wireless card? This fax modem is not the original. I've lost the original in 2005 during a thunderstorm. I was trying to connect to the internet when the electric discharge traveled through the telephone line and burned down the original one. This replacement was branded LG, but I don't think so. It seems too generic, even the driver CD that came with it. The good thing about this modem was that it had not the internal speaker, so the internet dial-up sound was through the soundboard, so I could mute it. The original one was really noisy and anybody at home could notice that I was trying to connect to the internet. And this wireless card was bought in 2010, just for fun. It's a Realtek RTL8185, with a really really generic chipset. We had broadband internet around 2009 here and I've used a different machine back then. As we had our first wireless modem I thought, why not install it on the Presario as well? I barely used it anyway. Of course, accessing internet in 2010 using Windows Millennium Edition was the right choice to being hacked. And believe me, this particular machine is really really sluggish with Windows XP. The experience was terrible, I have a partition with that, but it's just for tests only. And this is a 128MB PC100 RAM memory stick. It was bought in 2006 to help this machine breathe a little more. At the time I was really suffering already with only 64MB of RAM. Unfortunately, I've lost the original one. In 2006, I've had an opportunity to have another computer to increase the family. It was a Compact Desk Pro. 
a Pentium 3 of 550 MHz. It was a used 1999 machine and that was for my sister, as she was starting to learn to use a computer. It was really faster than my Celeron and it had a very nice Matrox video card. It was a really cool machine and I, I've kept that until 2020. I had to get rid of that because it was really bulky and the yellow plastics were starting to fall into pieces. It was kinda sad. I still remember bringing the machines together just to defrag the discs and taking photos of them, as you can see. The Compact Desk Pro was gone, but something were left, as this Itaucom 128MB memory stick. Now my Presario has 256MB of RAM. This Itaucom brand was the most reliable for use on compact computers here in Brazil. As we may know, those machines were very picky when we talk about compatible hardware, mainly RAM memories. If we wanted to have a sure that a memory could work in a compact around here, it had to be Italcom. I've really struggled to find that Samsung one on the left. I bought at my own risk and the salesman warranty that it could work on my Presario or I could return it and have my money back. This is the original Seagate hard disk that came with the computer. As you can see, there's all those sticks. It's a 20 GB disk came with this nice rubber sleeve, IDE interface and it has that lovely characteristic sound of an old hard disk. They surely were noisy, but it's not hard to get used to it. Unfortunately, this was formatted lots of times through the years and I've lost the original system in 2004 due to an interference with Norton System Works. Since then, it was with a generic Windows Millennium system installation. During the pandemic, I've installed a similar OEM system that I've found at archive.org from those compact recovery desks. It's from a Presario 5BW series. It's not in Portuguese, as this is a Brazilian machine, but I've installed it anyway just to remember that the first startup screens that you've seen just one time in May 12th, 2001. And this is the second hard disk that I bought for this machine in 2009. It was Maxtor Diamond Max 21 with 160 GB. The original was already full with music, games and files, so I had to expand it to more space. Since the 2008, the Presario wasn't my main computer anymore, so I've had a project to turn this into a backup machine for storing old files, things that I rarely used. But suddenly I've noticed it was really impractical. I had to turn it on, move wires, plug everything, it was kinda painful. It's also difficult to use it with USB sticks, because those USB ports are 1.0 version. It takes ages for transferring a few megabyte file, for example. And here is the processor. Behold the 766 MHz from this compact Presario. It's kind of sluggish and use the 370 socket. This socket is shared with some Pentium 3 processors. The Desk Pro was using a cartridge processor so it wasn't compatible. I've tried to look at any Pentium 3 compatible with this motherboard, but at that time they were really expensive. I would have to change the fan and heatsink as well, so I gave up. When I had this idea again, it was kinda late. I haven't found anyone in good quality for use here. And this is the Sony recordable drive. It's a CRX230A and I remember very well when I bought it. It was November 2nd, 2005. I was turning 18 years old on November 1st, so I've got some money. It was a Sunday and I had to go to any open store to buy it. And I was really happy because from that I could record my music CDs, some games, some backups and many things. There's something cool about those compacts. Their designs are great, they're clever. For example, here in the chassis you don't need to screw anything to attach drives on it. 
You just use this thing to make everything slide as a tray, so you can remove it freely. I won't remove it now because the machine is on a slippery surface. As I'm recording with a hand, I show it with the other. I won't take a chance on this falling. It never falls, so I can't try to be lucky. Just like this. I like this thing so you can store CDs and keep them handy, covered by the lids here. And yes, behold, we can't forget to mention those awesome speakers. They are from JBL Platinum Series and they still work. Came with everything and since the beginning it was really cool to have a speaker that could be attached to the monitor, just like those old photos you've seen. Uh, let's be nostalgic. this booting so yes it's going and I have this PCI card that's not working properly I cancel so You may ask myself, why in the heck are you using the Windows 95 startup sound? Yeah, uh, I had this joke about Windows 95 for a slow machine. And yes, it's Windows Millennium Edition, of course, as, as you can see here. But uh, I've used lots of different sounds. And, and just to be accurate, you should be listening to this. Yes, I, I really love this sound. I, I think it's one of the most beautiful Microsoft sounds ever. In my opinion, of course. So, just for that nostalgic intro, let's do this. Let's start this in Carta. And that's it. And yeah, here is where I pass most of my time. I love to use this compact presario to listen to music and I remember this back music that which came with the Windows Millennium Edition Yeah, not, not, not everything, because YouTube may strike my channel, or this video. Apart from The Sims, Sin City 3000 was one of the games that I've spent most of my time playing on this compact presario. Man, those were the times. I remember it like it were yesterday. I bought it around 2003 or something like that. And I still have the cities I created back then. I have the Simplo 
for you. And yes, it was really, 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 really fine. I love this simulation games. They, they, they make me think that I'm important, that I'm like God or a mayor, something like that. Yeah, it took a lot of time to load it. I'm sorry. My goodness. Yes, I remember. This was really, really. Uh, Intel Southern. As you know. And yeah, oh. The best music. This is the best music. those collectibles I still have the original documentation. Those manuals, guides, lots of paper. And of course, the original box. Well, it's not the best shape of all, but it might be something. Here's some setup specs. Here's some of the details, such as the factory, the shop my father bought it for me at the time, and some barcodes. So, I hope you liked it. I just shown that a computer just like a home, a car, a toy or furniture may be part of someone's life for a long time and, of course, share many good experiences, memories and make you happy for many years. Maybe i see you in the next video. Take care.